All righty. So we are going to dive into now breaking apart fractions. As always, when we introduce this new topic, I'd like you to watch the video first, and then we'll discuss uh, what the expectations are after this. How can you show a fraction as a sum of its parts? Let's find out. Christina is practicing her long jump on the sidewalk in front of her apartment building. She jumps two-thirds the distance of the sidewalk. Let's look at how you can show two-thirds as a sum of its parts. One way. A number line can help you add unit fractions. Remember, a unit fraction represents one part of a whole that has been divided into equal parts. The numerator in a unit fraction is always what number? Okay, let's think about that. Remember, the numerator is this top number. A unit fraction always has a numerator of 1. Now use the number line to add the unit fractions. What is the sum? Okay, so I want to show you. So our unit fractions are, remember, how many equal pieces our number line or strip is divided into. So in this case, our number line is divided into 1, 2, and 3. It's divided into thirds. Now, when we have the unit fraction, remember, our numerator, just as he said, will always be 1. Now, they're asking us to use the number line to add the unit fractions together. So let me erase this. Remember, our unit fractions are the fraction that shows how many equal pieces this number line is divided into. So I circled one third and one third, and we are going to add those together. Well, one third plus one third, if you look here, we have two thirds. I want you to notice that that denominator stayed the same. The numerator is what changed. What is one plus one? Two. Now we have two thirds. One third plus one third equals two thirds shows two thirds as the sum of its parts. Let's look at another way to show two thirds as a sum of its parts. Another way. You can break two-thirds apart into unit fractions and then write two-thirds as the sum of its parts. Two-thirds equals one-third plus one-third. This way also shows the fraction as the sum of its parts. How are the two examples alike? Well, let's think about that. How are the two examples alike? We have the same answer. Let's listen. They both show the fraction two thirds as the sum of its parts. I'm going to practice my long jump now. Okay. So on the bottom of page 596, you will have the convince me question. How could you represent four six as a sum of unit fractions. Well, I want you to draw a picture and then show your work. A number line, you can either do a number line or you could do the strips. With the number line, remember you need zero and one. Based off of that denominator, how many equal parts is our number line going to be divided into? Six. You then are going to show where four sixths is. But what fractions are you going to add together to show four sixths? That is what I really want to see from you to make sure that you understand it. So again, what fractions will you be adding together from your number line? to show four six as a sum of 
unit fractions. First, you have to identify what the unit fraction is. We know that the denominator is six and what will always be the numerator? One. All right, guys, this is all you have to do for math today, and then we will continue on tomorrow.